Hello, my name is Keith Barker, and on behalf of the entire CBT Nuggets family, welcome to this course on Palo Alto Firewalls. Let's begin. I'd like you to pause for a moment and think about something that you're really good at. Maybe it's a sport or maybe it's some kind of a talent that you have. And I'd like you to think back to the first time that you tried that or started doing that. It's very likely that when you first attempted whatever it is you're really good at now, that you had some learning curve involved. And what I've discovered is that the first, I don't know, 10 to 20 hours that somebody spends on some new skill, some new ability, that probably is the toughest. And what this course is designed to do, my friend, is for you and I to take that learning curve with Palo Alto Network's firewalls and make it as easy as possible. So I've organized and created these nuggets in this course to take you from zero to 60 in a very short time frame, And a lot of that involves having you do the hands-on practice along with me. Now, many of the features of the Palo Alto Firewall are licensed and you can't practice them unless you have an active license for them. But for the first set of nuggets in this course, a lot of it can be done even if you don't have the licenses for the advanced features. So what I'd recommend you do is number one, you wanna watch the videos, let's go through them together and I would have you do them in order. Now, why is that? Why do them in order? Well, we may configure something in Nugget 3 that we're going to leverage in Nugget 4. So we wanna make sure that we have all those foundational components in place. Secondly, whatever you can lab up, I would encourage you to practice it hands-on. And third, probably the most important is to enjoy the journey. Take the happiness advantage and have a good time as we go through these nuggets, you and I, step-by-step, step, getting better and better and more knowledgeable about the Palo Alto Firewall as we continue through these nuggets together. And as I looked at the scope of what's available on the Palo Alto Firewall and all the bells and whistles, I realized that it would be really tough to cover everything. So my goal for this course, as I put it together for you and I, was to make sure that we understand the basic components of how the pieces fit together. And then as you do hands-on practice, I would encourage you to take it to the next level. Take some extra time with the context-sensitive help that's in the graphical user interface. Take some additional time to get the command line interface reference guide and actually leverage that to verify some of the configurations that we've done in the graphical user interface at the command line. Take it to that next level. I've also included as part of the Nugget Lab files associated with this course, additional resources, including several reference guides and other documents that I found useful for getting even more information and more detail about the things that we are learning as we go through this course together. The Nugget Lab files are reachable. If you log on to the CBT Nuggets website from a computer, log in with your member ID, go to this course, down on the right hand side, you'll see a link for Nugget Lab files so you can download those and have those available as resources, as you enjoy the nuggets. So in order to actually verify a configuration, for example, at the command line, we first need to have a configuration. So in this nugget, I'm keeping it very, very short so we can get right to work as we start building a topology and putting a configuration together for the Palo Alto firewall. I'm uber excited about you joining me for this journey and I'll see you, my friend, in the next nugget. Meanwhile, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.